Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use transitions within OBS. Hey, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose Tech. And today we're talking about using transitions within OBS. Now, OBS offers a great, fantastic suite or options or control for transitions within OBS for beginners and experts alike. It's super simple. Now, what is a transition? Well, put simply, it's when you see one screen now and then it switches over to something else, maybe through like a fast cut or like a fade, going from one scene to the next that is a transition and can, transitions can, can have very different, many different styles uh, to play with when going from one screen to the next. All right, so how do we build our transitions within OBS? Well, I'm glad you asked and it's very simple to tell you the truth. So here's our OBS, OBS screen, very basic uh, layout, uh, install it, get it set up. But if we look down here in the bottom left hand corner, we'll see our scenes and then we have our sources. Now I have one scene right now and I have one element in my sources, which is our video capture device. This is really basic. The only thing we're recording or, or seeing now is just my webcam right here, okay? Now, when it comes to transitions, we wanna build our transitions using our scenes. We're gonna build multiple scenes that will contain our different transitions or our different elements that we're going to transition to. Now, you could add different elements within sources, like maybe like a web page, a different screen, uh, a game, something you're monitoring or, or whatever, or, or video sources. You could add it within your sources, but then it kind of takes away from the simplicity and the easiness of the transitions that we want to create, and I'll explain that as we move along. So let's build our transitions. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have a total of three different transitions. So I'm gonna go to the plus button. And I'm going to, I'll have scene two. I'll press OK, and then I'll pre you see it goes black, so we can go back to scene one and show myself again. Uh, I'll press plus again to create another one, and it'll go to scene three. Right. Okay. So now I have my, my I have my basically my houses for my scenes, and now let's put some furniture inside the house. Okay, so for scene two, we'll click over to scene two. We'll go to source, we'll add a source. And off the top of my head, I know for my window capture, I want to use my 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 YouTube channel. So we'll go ahead, we'll go to window capture, we'll press okay. And then it already detects my YouTube channel. You can select it here from your the window. So I'll press okay there. Now let's go to scene three. And for scene three, I think I want, nope. I wanna, I wanna go to my sources. For scene three, I want to use my the program that I use for creating thumbnails, which is, oops, let me bring that up. Let me back that out. Let's delete it. Here, just in case you have a, a problem with that. I will bring it up. Shoot, did I start? Yeah, I did. I will bring it up. Go back to OBS, press that. Go to window. And now it should, it should be there right there. Okay, good. Okay, so, all right, so as you can see, we have our we have our main scene. Our scene number one is a webcam. We have scene two, which is our our our, our YouTube page. You know what? Let's uh, let's start this over. Okay, YouTube page, and then scene three, which is our thumbnail maker. Now, okay, so we're getting there. We we basically have some kind of form of transitions happening right now with, between our three scenes. But you know, it's kind of like a pain in the butt right now. Right, I've got to kind of look down. Oh, let me go to scene two. I got it. Let me click on it, point it, and, and click. There's my scene two and my scene three. Oh yeah, let's do that. You know, forget that mess. We want to make this as easy as possible for ourselves. So let, let, let's make this really easy. Let's go to file. Actually, no. Let's 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 pause on that. Let's move to the next step. Right, I kind of jump ahead of myself. <coughs> So once you have your scenes collected, you're gonna look here on the, on the bottom right and you're gonna see studio mode. You're gonna click on studio mode and then bam, you've got two screens popping up. First, you have your program screen and then you have your preview screen. Now the program screen is the final output that you're always gonna see, right? This is what's going out to your audience. This is what's being recorded right now. I'm recording this right now. So the program is what's being recorded. The preview is what we have queued up in the background. Um, so we can then transition to the program screen, right? So if I want to right now, I can go ahead and press scene two. It previews it because right now we're still, well, we're still displaying the program. And if I just press transition, it will transition over to uh, the YouTube channel. And then of course, scene one now goes to the preview and I can transition again and it'll go back to that, right? Now, if I go to, I can click on scene three, press the transition again, it'll go over to the thumb, my thumbnail maker right? And I can transition out of that. 
But you know what? That's still not easy enough. We want to make this as easy as possible. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to go to File, Settings. Then we're going to go to Hotkeys. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we'll start seeing transition. Now, I've already got some hotkeys in place for my transitions. <coughs> um, but you can do you can use whatever you want when it comes to hotkeys. So for a transition, I like to use a general transition. I like to use the left key for a, a quick cut transition. I just like to use the up key, a, a transition fade at 30, 300 milliseconds, the right key. And if I want to fade to black, the down key. Now, for my scene one, I like to put that, I like to short key that to my numeric pad key number one. For scene two, we'll make that number two. And for scene three, we'll make that scene number three. And of course, you can, if you look here, you have tons of options to short key, to start a virtual camera, to stop, replace, pause, stop, start recording, start streaming. You got tons of options. So we're going to apply and OK this. All right. OK, so here we are. We're doing our program. Now, here's the scenario. Right. Let's just say, hey, guys, it's slow and I'm talking to you. And you know what? Now I'm thinking to myself, you know, I want to talk about about my YouTube channel. So I'm going to press two on the slide and it shows up in the preview screen. Right. So, hey, guys, it's slow. And I want to talk about my program, uh, my YouTube channel. And as a matter of fact, I actually have it up right now. And all I do is just, is just press the right button and it transitions to what I have queued up. Right. So we can go back and after I talk about the, the the YouTube channel, right? Like, yeah, so that's really good. Let me queue back up scene number one, the webcam, and go back to it again. So uh, yeah, so you see, you know, this is my YouTube channel, all that stuff. But so now I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe now I'm gonna switch over to uh, my thumbnails. So we'll get back into it. Oh, you're probably asking, Lo, Lo, how do you do your your thumbnails? I press three. I kind of preview it there. I have it queued up in the beginning. Well, I'm glad you asked because I actually have my thumbnails right here. Right, so it's super ingenious how you can do it. It's super easy. We just, whoops, let me, let me go back. It's it's really easy. You just you just kind of have an understanding. These are the things that I want to bring up. These are the things I want to talk about. These are the things I want to show. And I'm just going to hot key into whatever keys I want and just kind of transition, 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 <coughs> you know, and show it the way I want to do. Now, here's another cool thing, right? I'm showing these programs, but what if, what if, I want to show a smaller version of myself, the webcam, over these uh, overlays. So it's really cool. Let's go. We're going to select scene two. We're going to go to our sources box. We're going to press the plus button and go to video capture device. Now, we don't need to create a brand new video capture device because we already have one running, which is our main webcam. So we're going to go to add existing video capture device. OK, and then boom, there it goes. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the corners. I'm going to make it small. And I'm going to, uh, where, where should I, I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. Looks good to me, right? So now, here we go again. Um, yeah, let's talk about that YouTube channel. YouTube channel 2, which is already there. And then transition. And there it is, right? We can do, and let's go back to me, right? Now, let's talk about thumbnails. There it is. But now, what if I want to do the same thing for a thumbnail? No problem. So let's go to scene 2. Let's right click on our video capture device. Let's copy it. Let's go to scene three, click into this into this box, right click and paste. And there we go. The monitor, uh, I'm, I'm right there again. And then now we can actually do the same thing, right? All right, so let's talk about thumbnails and look at me. Whoops, transition. And look at me, I'm still down there in a the corner. You never missed me. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm there with you entire way. And then let's talk about the YouTube channel because this is what my thumbnails look like. And let's just look at my face and that's it. Guys. <laughs> Creating transitions is super easy. You're only limited to your imagination and what you can do and put into it. And as you can see, you have tons of options for actually transitioning to. You can create images, a display capture, a game capture, a media source, a text source, whatever it is, you can transition anything within your scene with an OBS and just OBS and just get super creative. All right, guys, hope you had fun watching this. It was really fun showing you this. You know, go ahead, leave some comments or questions down below if you have any questions about this or if you have any other questions about OBS, I'll let you know. It's it's cool like that. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. And of course, guys, don't forget, learn the darn thing, do the darn thing, and then share it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.